I finished my book so I attached some fibers to the ring and I'm probably gonna add more fibers later just since there's plenty of room on the ring see how there's plenty of room so I'll probably beef this up with some fibers later and of course here's the ring that is now pink um, from the alcohol inks and then this was the insert to this frame actually and I put a picture on one side and journaling on the other and then here is that frame that I colored and there's a picture on one side and journaling on the other and then here is the first page of the album with those letters that I covered in paper and it says big pink because they're big pink birds and then I added all um, the pink gems and then on the back you can see how I made these epoxy so it's got there's with glossy accents that's what I used and so now all the flowers and leaves on this page are actually epoxy looking and then I added journaling in green and then I colored it with the amber clay and then here's another two pictures on that ring and then here is another um, that frame see it's all pink and white crackled and then I added a white embossed flower with a button in the middle and then on the back there was room for more journaling you know and you remember I stamped this and then embossed it and then I embossed the edge in white and that just helps it pop off um, the background paper because it's a little bit dark and then here I got another two pictures and here's the um, flower that I tied on with fiber and then in the back there's where it's knotted with a button and there's another picture and then here's another small page with a picture on either side and then this picture I don't know why I printed it because it's kind of a weird picture but I just had this one tiny flamingo right in the middle and then it was surrounded in green so I actually put the flower on it to zoom in on that little tiny flamingo and then another picture and then an embossed journaling card on the back with another flower with a button and then here's the file folder where I did the bulk of my journaling so there's a flower with a button here and then a photo turn and it opens up for tons of journaling And you can see they're very loose. The album's loose. Once I add more fiber, it'll be better. But here's that page that I made with multiple strips of paper because I didn't have enough paper left. And then I put buttons in the center of the flowers and I added another picture. And then here's another picture. And another picture. A lot of pictures in this album. And there's another one of those frames with some journaling on the back. And then the last page has a flower and a button, and then the back I just left plain. I sanded the edges to expose the white, and then I inked the white with the amber clay, so it's kind of got that look. So here's that album, and let me just let's run through quick and count how many pictures I was able to get in this five by five mini album. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, and 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 pictures in this album plus journaling. So there we are. There's my July mini album and I hope you enjoyed it.